Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tanika Dion. Alrighty, now today I'm going to be sharing with you just um, a few things that I got from the Sephora BI mm, 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 from the Sephora VIB sale uh, that went on last week. So yeah, now um, as you all know, because I said it many times in several videos, that I was on a no buy since. April. It is now August, so you know I did really good. I didn't buy anything. The only thing I did buy was a couple. Well, it was some skincare, but that was drugstore, and I didn't include skincare as or in the no buy, and I didn't include lashes in the no buy. So those I could have uh, purchased if I wanted to. I did uh, get three pair of Huda Beauty lashes because I really like the ones that was in the Allure, uh, the July Allure, um, those Samantha number no. sevens. I did get. Um, two of those and another pair um, which have not come here yet so it, it will be but anyway so yeah um, yeah you know I, I, I've been keeping up with you know makeup and what's out there because anything that I wanted <laughs> during that time I did make a list and actually the list was very very minimal um, I think I wanted three things um, during that time from April to August because my no buy was supposed to is over um, well, I, my deal with my husband was that I would do a no buy because I had so much stuff. I'm not using a lot of stuff. I still have two drawers here of stuff that I still have not used in touch. And that's not even skincare. That's all makeup. But, um, yeah, so that, that's another video. Um, so yeah, it was my, my, our deal was to not be able to buy anything until the next Sephora VIB. So, like I said, I haven't bought anything makeup related since. April um, and there wasn't honestly looking through all the months there wasn't anything that really wowed me that I wanted anyway so on my list I actually only had like three things that I wanted and now that my no buy is over or was over August the 1st yeah I had a date down because I knew when the Sephora VIB I knew the Sephora VIB was either going to be in August or September I, I just I knew it so I had told him by August 1st but anywho so um, yeah, I just had like three things, nothing else. I don't know, because I, I don't really want makeup all like that anyway. I mean, I just like to get like, my main thing is I like to get a lot of limited edition stuff. I mean, not always, but when I do buy, usually it's like something limited edition. Not always, but a lot of time. But anyway, so, um, yeah, let me just go ahead and get right into what I got now before I get into what I got from Sephora which is very very small I did not get a lot at all a little bit because like I said I, I didn't really want anything I did not want anything and that's shocking because I always want to you know buy something but you know I want whatever okay guys let's go here because I am rambling like I always do y'all know I can't help it I just I'll be I'm I, I, it's like I'm talking to family, you know what I'm saying? So I just keep talking and talking and talking like I'm doing right now. So before I get into what I got from the Sephora VIB sale, I just want to share with you um, what I got from Morphe um, during this time. It's like I said, it's not in the VIB, but it is what I got. And I did decide to go ahead and get this. I ordered this um, uh, last week. I was shocked that they still had it because I didn't get it the day that, excuse me, I didn't get it the day that they, you know, it was released. Like I said, I wasn't going to buy anything, so I got this um, last week, and it came. It wasn't sold out. I think it was last week, or it might have been two weeks ago. I'm not sure. Yeah, but it was after August. That's all I know, and it's been sitting here. So I did get the Jeffree Star um, and Morphe palette. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of people may already have this, but y'all know I don't care. I'm not the one to try to be innovative. I don't care if I have it first or not. I get it when I want it, if I want it. I, I, I don't race to get nothing. I get stuff when I want it and if I feel like it. But anyway, this is what the palette looks like. It's very, very pretty. I like it a lot. It's pretty. I mean, you know. Of course, I haven't used it yet, but it is very, very pretty. And I like the fact that it was pink. I, <laughs> I did like that. Even though pink is not my favorite color. I love purple. But, yeah, I did want this, so I did go ahead and get it. Uh, I did not get the brushes. Because y'all know I bought the first set of Jeffree Star brushes. And I believe, you know, they got thrown away on accident. And I never did repurchase them. I was going to get the brushes, but 
I have a lot of brushes too. A lot of brushes I haven't even used or opened either. I have a whole set of Sigma brushes that I have not even touched. A whole set of face and eye brushes that I have not even touched from Sigma. Sigma. So I decided not to get the brushes. Anyway, and the next thing that I got was the Glam Light Painters Palette. And yeah, I did get a discount. I'm so excited because Gavin Glab has a discount code, so I was happy. But you know, I have the other um, Glam Light palettes as well. The only one that I don't have is the Taco. And the only reason that I don't have the Taco, which I might get, but then again, I might not. I don't know. Um, is because I wasn't real happy with the Burger Palette. It, it's Pizza Palette is amazing. I've used that many times. I love the Pizza Palette. But when I got the Burger Palette, I don't know. It was something about it that did not wow me once I started doing colors and trying to do looks. It just... <sighs> I didn't like it all like that. So I felt like I didn't want to get the Taco one, which came after that. But then I saw she did the painters. And so I said, oh, that is very neat, very interesting. And so I decided to go ahead and get it. And this is what it comes in. This is the box. And here's the palette. And it comes with a brush. This is the palette. Very, very pretty. Comes with this brush. And these colors look amazing. I fell in love with this whole concept that she was doing with this. It looks just like a painter, you know, like you're going to paint if I can get it out. And yeah, so looks like this guys and then you know you just open and these are these beautiful oh sorry <laughs> all off you know but and these are the colors right here very very nice very very pretty colors these are so pretty and so yeah I did go ahead and buy this all right, so let's um get into the Sephora well you know what guys I'm going to uh well I guess I can put it here to the side you can still see me without a shadow okay now the first thing now this stuff that I have it was uh, from me going to the store as well as online I ordered something on the first day uh, of the VIB and that came and then I went to the store on Monday uh, before the sale was over I think I think but um yeah so the first thing I got I'm gonna go ahead and just take this I'll go here I'm going to show you. The first thing. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this on the floor. Put this on the floor, guys. And I'm going to put everything on this table because this bag is getting on my nerves. Okay. So... Uh, the first thing that I did get was some hair care. Now, um, so the first thing that I did get um, on the VIB, now I did order this, um, this was hair care. So, I've been natural guys for five years now, going on six um, in September. No, in December. And, um, yeah. And so I bought Diva Girl. Oh, Diva Girl. Diva Curl products. I never, ever, ever tried Diva Girl. Why do I keep saying Diva Girl? Diva Curl products. Like, the whole time I've been natural, I've never tried Diva Curl products. And I don't know why. I don't know. But anyway, since it was VIB and I know that the Diva Curl products are high, I decided to go ahead and do it because I get the 15% off. Because, like, shampoo was, like, 26. This was, like, 30. And uh 20 something you know they're they're expensive so you know that's when you want to get stuff is when you got the 15 percent you know alta gives you 20 percent a lot so but anyway who's 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 comparing anyway so the first thing i got um was the let's see this is the diva curl one condition delight weightless waves conditioner oh wrong i'm sorry showing y'all the wrong stuff that's the conditioner and then i also got the diva curl no poo original zero lather conditioning cleanser and i got the diva curl super stretch coconut curl elongator And I got the Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence Leave-In Conditioner. Uh, 
and I got the Diva Curl Believe in Miracle Curl Plumper. All right. Now, I did not get a deep conditioner. I don't know. When I was ordering, I forgot all about deep conditioning. Um, honestly, my main thing that I was really was um, going to try on Diva Curl was this Believe in um, Curl Plumper and the Super Stretch because these two are stylers and I wanted to use them because um, this is a gel and this is a styler, you know. So, this is the main thing. But then when I was going through there i started seeing stuff i said oh that'll be good and, and all this stuff is for moisture you know if you want moisture and i you know i was feel sorry my vanity mirror tilted over okay um and i felt like i was needing more moisture in my hair especially because you guys know there's long periods in between time when i wash my hair long but now that i started the rice water method which that video should be up by now and if you have not seen it i will go ahead and link it above um i'm going to be washing my hair once a week now guys yes once a week it's going to be crazy but anyway so yeah i got those five products um and i did use them already so because like i said i ordered these first now i use that's what i use to get this beautiful um twist out that i have right here very very beautiful defined curls honey yes i used all of it and i can't wait to see what these products do for a wash and go but yeah as far as this twist out bomb y'all super bomb love it so yeah that's the hair care that i got and the next thing, um, I also got this um, Jackie Ina palette. Like I said, I did not rush to go get this. I, I didn't want the special or nothing like that. Um, I like Jackie, but I don't need no extras. So I just got the palette. And um, yeah, I got it once my no buy was over. Um, you know, if they had it, they had it. If they didn't, they didn't. So, yeah, this is one of the things that I saw that they still had. So, I said I would go ahead and try it. And, yeah, I got that. And I'm pretty sure, you know, most people saw this already. If not, here's your chance to see it. And it's very, very pretty. And it comes with a brush. And these are the colors. Very pretty. And with all the palettes that I did buy, of course, stay tuned for looks with each of them, especially that paint palette. I can't wait to use that. Um, yeah, so yeah. And um, so yeah, got this. And um, and then um, these one, two, three, four, five products is what i went to the store to get and that's it so you know i didn't do too much damage and, and i'm good with what i wanted i got everything that i wanted so the first thing you guys know i never tried fenty products never like i used fenty um highlight and contour today um i mean bronzer today but that's because you know how when you're walking out of sephora they got the little sets and i paid 24 dollars, and it's a mini highlighter and a mini um bronzer so that's the only fenty that i've ever owned because her line was geared more towards um uh people with oily skin people that like matte foundations which because i'm dry i don't like to wear too many matte foundations unless i really really like the brand and the product you know i just really like and i want it um so i've never tried fenty before but now that she just came out with the hydrating line your girl jumped on fenty that was the main reason I was looking for this VIB, y'all. That and the um, Diva Girl stuff. That's all. The Jackie Ina just was a bonus. You know what I'm saying? Um, because they had it. So, yeah. Anyway, so what I got from um, the Fenty was, the, of course, the Hydrating Foundation, which um, I got color 410. I did go in the store, um, and I was color matched. I was color matched before. Y'all know they got the color match thing. Um, it said, what color did it say? I forgot. Wait, what color did it say? I think it said, was it 35, I believe, 435. I, I can't recall, but I got 410. I felt like when I did a, um, a match on myself, I felt like 410 was a better color for me. So that's what I got. And yeah, this is the hydrating formula. So I'm so excited about this to try the Fenty. Um, so I got the foundation 
and of course I could not be without the pro filter instant retouch setting powder and I got um, banana I'm pretty sure everybody saw this already because y'all know I'm late to the game but it doesn't bother me that I'm late it is what it is I don't even care and yeah so the packaging looks like this very very pretty and um, yeah I'd have been had it but like I said it was geared more towards uh, oily skin people or people that like matte and that's not me so now that she has a hydrating I'm very super super happy about that so those two and then I also got the Fenty by Rihanna soft silk um, uh, primer so I got the primer as well hydrating this is also a hydrating primer so I was happy she had a hydrating come on hydrating primer as well soft silk is that what it's, yeah soft silk and yeah definitely know I'm you guys know I'm gonna do a uh, uh, first impression Friday with this which I'm thinking about calling it uh, foundation Fridays because y'all know I love foundation but I don't know if I'm going to be having foundation every time. I might branch into doing palettes on Fridays too. You know, that's why it's called First Impression Fridays and not Foundation Fridays. But, you know, whatever. We'll see. And so, yeah, I got uh, those three. And then also from Fenty, the last thing I got from Fenty um, is the powder brush. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought this was pretty. And then I saw her doing her stuff in her video. Uh, Rihanna doing this in her video with this brush. Cost uh, $34. That's crazy. I don't pay no $34 for one brush. But I did today. Or when I went there that day. And, uh, you know, at least I got some coin off. It came up to $28. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, Fenty Beauty. This is the setting. $170. Why did I do that? This brush is so freaking soft. Oh my, my, my God, though, my, I don't want to put it on my face because it's so pretty. Woo! But it's pretty. Very, very pretty. This brush is so pretty and so soft. Oh my gosh. Woo-wee. This is like a pillow. This is nice. But yeah, so yeah, I got that. And I'm so glad that it, you know, it was a 15% off because I, I, you know, buying all that at once but anywho so yeah and so yeah that's all i got from fenty i got everything i wanted foundation the powder and the primer and the brush and then one more thing i got doing vib was this benefit boing cakeless uh concealer that patrick star is uh all on his videos with talking about all day long and you know he got his little videos on it and stuff so i decided i did want to try this concealer as well cakeless concealer by benefit boing and i got the color what is it number 10 it looks like little eraser that is so cute but yeah so i decided to try this as well and yeah, that is everything I got from the VIB. See, I didn't go ham at all. I spent a little, a little under, um, for all this stuff, including the, um, um, Diva Girl stuff in itself and, uh, all of this with the palette and everything that I bought. Well, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven 11, 11 products. I spent a little under 300, um, uh, with the discounts and everything so if you have not done so already please hit the subscribe button notification bell so you never miss when i upload like my video and comment if you will thank you so much guys love ya